scientists have turned their attention to a drug that simulates the effects of exercise in mice, raising hopes for potential applications in human health. A recently created compound, SLU PP332, has piqued interest for its capacity to replicate exercise-related advantages in obese mice. These benefits encompass weight loss, boosted metabolism, heightened energy levels, and increased endurance, all achieved without any need for physical activity. According to Thomas Burris, a pharmacy professor at the University of Florida, SLU PP332 prompts changes in skeletal muscles similar to those seen in endurance training. This suggests the compound's potential to mimic exercise-related effects in muscle tissue. This novel compound achieves its effects by targeting F proteins responsible for activating the body's most energy-demanding tissues, such as the brain, heart, and muscles. Airs, which are naturally released during exercise, have proven challenging to stimulate with drugs until now. Burris, with colleagues from Washington and St. Louis universities, published their findings, advancing compound development. Burris clarified that the drug shifts mice's whole body metabolism towards using fatty acids, a process akin to fasting or exercising in humans. As a result, the mice lost weight. Nonetheless, it remains uncertain how the drug would impact humans since mice and humans differ significantly. These drugs, known as exercise mimetics, have often been associated with unverified claims of miraculous weight loss. Some researchers emphasize precise terminology, specifying activated biological pathways for each agent. SLU PP332, targeting different proteins than previous drugs, requires further research to assess its potential benefits and drawbacks. Encouragingly, initial studies in mice have not revealed severe side effects. Like other innovative treatments which tackle metabolic diseases through unique pathways, SLU PP332 holds promise for potential health benefits, particularly in aging populations. Nevertheless, its true efficacy and safety must be confirmed through continued research in both mice and humans. Thanks for watching. Please consider subscribing to support independent news.